As far as I'm concerned, the Qatar FIFA 2022 World Cup is becoming the most interesting, intriguing and memorable World Cup in like forever. And despite the weaponized propaganda agenda to instill the LGBTQ culture in a sovereign nation like Qatar without respecting the culture and belief of that nation, I would say that this World Cup have been the best so far and Morocco win over Spain is the icing on the cake. Uh, before we get deep into this video, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Please, 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 it's just a new channel, so please subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. I know you definitely subscribe. It won't hurt you if you do, but it will actually hurt me if you don't. Thank you very much. Let's get right into the video. Well, it's official. This is the highest number of upsets in a single World Cup tournament. I haven't seen anything like this before, and that's fact. But the question or the topic of discussion in the thumbnail is how far can Morocco go and what are their World Cup chances? Well, they just gave us the answer by telling us anything is possible in the game of football. Somebody called me a foul in my last video when I was laughing at Cameroon and saying that they can never beat Brazil. I'm trying as much as possible not to make that same mistake. So here's my honest opinion. Well, Morocco can go far even though today's game was truthfully the combination of both luck and individual brilliance from certain players, notably the keeper who made three penalty saves. You have to understand that Spain did everything they possibly could to win the match. They had a total number of 32 crosses, 33 throw-ins, 4 offside, 8 corners and a ball possession of 75% and still they couldn't convert it to a goal and win the match. Truthfully, I feel all those stats doesn't matter because the better team won. And I don't see anything better than Morocco currently in this tournament and that's fact. I'm not saying that because I'm black, I'm actually saying that because that's arguably the truth. You have to understand that Morocco is one of the most complete teams at this tournament. After playing a new new draw to Croatia, beating Belgium 2-0 to nothing and ousting Canada, I feel they are the most underestimated team in this tournament and are technically the real underdogs. And with Hakim Ziyech reviving his career with the national team with the goal and an assist and 17 passes played into the box and 7 chances created just in the group stage alone. It just shows that Chelsea are riding a Ferrari like a Fiat and if he continues in this form, he's going to perform some magic against Portugal. And the magic will be magnified in the midfield with the likes of Sofiane Amrabat who have been outstanding so far in the tournament and had a stellar performance against Spain. I feel if he replicates his performance against Portugal then Portugal is going to be toast. I can't end this video without acknowledging the brave performance of Atra Fakimi with the penankau kick. Like that was very very graceful. But notably, I have to acknowledge the Sevilla shot stopper, yes in Bono who saved 3 penalty kicks in the shootout. And that was just very very impressive. So far he have been impressive in the whole tournament. I feel Morocco can beat Portugal, end up beating England and even going as far as winning the whole goddamn tournament. Like anything is possible in the game of football. Well guys, I'm all out and I really thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. Please drop a comment, drop a sub, like, like, like this video, share, subscribe. Thank you very much and God bless you. See you in the next video. Love you guys. Peace out.